Hey guys, how are you? It's Anthony from Rainy Distillers. Okay, this is the new still. This is probably about the ninth change we've gone through with this still. It's definitely, I can't do any more to this still to make it any better. So, um, just for those that are not familiar with the Alchemist, basically, uh, this can be a pot still, as well as, a, of course, a reflux still, and creating a high ABV or alcohol by volume. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys about the improvements we've made to it. Um, so what you're doing, if you want to turn this guy into a pot still, we're just disconnecting, standard still tri-clamp, removing the gasket, taking off, tri-clamp, putting that down there, and make sure we have our rubber seal on here. It's just bike tube. A lot of people are talking about this rubber uh, being poisonous. Guys, it's EPDM rubber, okay? And it's having no influence with the product coming up, so it is not going to poison the product. People are being, you know, emailing me or uh, Googling me and, and uh, YouTube. Look, guys, it's not poisonous. It's not interacting with the alcohol. So there we go. We'll squash that one. So anyway, now we're coming to the pot still. Now, if you guys want to make it a traditional pot still, we can easily do this by removing the liquid management tap. Quite easy, guys. This is your liquid management tap. Putting it straight on here. And now, the, the Liby condenser is straight on. <laughs> like so, guys. And um, we'll bend this up just a tad. Clamp this down. Tighten it down. Now we have a traditional pot still. And um, there you have it. So basically, straight up, straight out on the first pass. Now, this is the condenser that's actually cooling the vapor product down. As you can see, it's a double spiral. And I've got to show you guys about this. This an important part to this, to this product. I have uh, what they call an umbrella. So basically, when the ethyl alcohol goes up here and recondenses to a liquid, vapor to a liquid, it's hitting the umbrella and dripping either side of uh, the dividing tray. And... Um, you know, when you purchase this, you can see what I've done here. I'm not going to give it away now. Okay, so that's it. And again, everything's color coded. Cold water going in, red, warm water leaving out. Now, that's your traditional pot still. Now, for those guys that want to make a vodka, uh, uh, an infusion, I'll show you quickly how to do that. So we're going to disconnect this. Okay, we're going to lay this to the side. And now... We're going to put all these together. And um, with all these connections, you'll get a high 90 on the first run. Okay, this will take just a tad. Tri clamp, gasket. Very easy to do, guys. One person. We'll do this easily. If you've got two people, it's even better. Now, when you're doing a vodka and you want to infuse the vodka, I'll show you how to do that as well. So we'll put these two together, like so. Uh, these sections come in 16-inch um, sections for the 2-inch, for the 3-inch and the 4-inch, comes in 2-foot sections. This is what they call a modular, ba a modular base still. Makes it quite easy. Okay. So there we have it. We're going to connect these two together. Like so. And again, you guys, you can go, guys, go as high as you want. As long as you've got enough beach to use oil or wattage to pump the material up the towel. Again, there's going to be a cutoff point because of the, the diameter of the pipe. Okay, so there we have it. You'd pack this fully with uh, copper mesh. That'll give you a high yield. Now, for those that are, want to do uh, an extraction, uh, there's two ways you can go about it. You can either fill this section here with your lemon rind or um, whatever it may be that you want to flavor the alcohol with. Um, you know, I'd always keep it to the very top because the highest of the proof will always be towards the top. The rest will be packed with copper mesh. Okay, now we're going to fit 
the still. Again, I'm going to remove this because we're going to put the liquid management tap so we can show you guys what it's actually like. Okay, put the gasket on, like so. Grab this, we're going to connect our still. Quite easy. There we have it. Okay, now uh, the liquid management tap I put in here. Okay, we're gonna connect it to here. So easy, guys. Okay, now we're gonna have either a high proof um, vodka or we're going to do an ethyl alcohol uh, or ethanol for your car. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, now we're going to put this on. Here we go guys, and like I say, uh, you know, coming up to four units like this, you're definitely going to be producing around about the 92%, up to 95%, depending on how you adjust it. Again, now it's so high, you're probably going to need a step stool to turn your liquid management down. Again, uh, hose fittings, quite simple. Uh, like I said before, if you are doing a small amount of lemon rind, I would stick it in this section here and leave the rest to be copper mesh. So by, by the time it gets to here, it's very up into the 90s and uh, you're getting a cleaner product. Um, that's really about it, guys. Now, what, what I'm going to do before we finish up, if you have designed your own steel, what I'm going to show you is we have designed a pipe to keg kit. It definitely comes with copper mesh in here, comes with a, a, a rubber tube around here so you can seal the pipe you put to. This is what I call pipe to keg kit. For you guys that have designed your own steel, put that to your keg, slip on your own steel, peel the, the rubber over and you have a complete seal. There you go, pipe to keg kit guys, have a great day. Uh, happy distilling and um, leave uh, all your information or questions you may have and uh, I'd love to get back to you or give me a call. Uh, my number will be on the on the site and um, happy distilling. Rainydistillers.com. Oh yeah, rainydistillers.com. Thank you, Maria.